What's going on guys, it's your boy Fano here, and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys the CSGO Berlin 2019 tournament stickers that you guys should definitely be investing in if you're interested in making some profit. And we're starting right now. Alright, if you guys open up CSGO, you guys can click on these tournament stickers down at the bottom left hand of your screen, and you can go to the in-game store where you guys can now take a look at all the stickers that are currently on sale for 75% off. You guys have a bunch of options to choose from. At the very bottom, you guys have all the teams that participated in the Berlin 2019 Major. Those are the normal team stickers that currently are going for 25 cents a pop, and uh, we're going to start there. So if you guys take a look at the screen, you'll see that it's divided into three sections sections, the legends, the returning challengers, and the minor challengers. I personally think you guys should not focus only on one category. I think you should broaden your portfolio. You should broaden your investments and take a look at all the different categories. But we're going to be starting with the minor challengers, of course, because uh, those are the ones that are just the most exciting because you don't normally see these teams at majors. The best advice I can give you guys is to go with CSGO teams that performed very well at this major, um, as well as teams that have a very nice and desirable logo on it or a very nice sticker. Um, so in particular, uh, we're gonna start off with Dream Eaters. I think they did very well at this major. It was their debut major for many of the players, if not all of them. It was their first time in the rodeo, and uh, they did perform and step up and uh, cause some upsets. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy a couple Dream Eaters. Again, you guys can buy four of them for a dollar, uh, so that's a pretty good deal. Another team to consider is Simon Gaming or Seaman Gaming or whatever you guys want to call them. I personally really like their team logo. I think it looks really nice, and we really don't know if they're ever gonna make make it to another major under the same organization or brand so I think it's now or never I'm gonna go ahead and put five of them in my cart you guys can always say choose um, as many or as few as you want crazy is another team that is just crazy good uh, they did very well at this major um, they made it to the legend stage so we're definitely gonna be seeing them again however they are another team that we just don't know if the organization is gonna last are they gonna change their name are they gonna change their logo we really just don't know it's a pretty simple logo if you ask me guys but I do think that the foil looks really nice um, and uh, overall the whole sticker just looks really good it's different from most tournament stickers so um this is definitely a great opportunity for you guys if you want to try something different and invest in something that is quite unique i highly recommend taking a look at their team stickers all right so now we're going to move on to returning challengers of course the no-brainer is avant-garde they made it to the final um their team is on the rise there's a lot of hype behind this team. I'm going to buy three of them. And then, of course, you guys have Hellraisers that recently benched their entire CSGO team. So we really just don't know where the organization is heading. So um, it's probably a good idea to take a look at a couple of these stickers. And, of course, if you guys have more money to spend, go for the hollows and foils because those are the ones that are going to make you the most money. Obviously, you guys cannot go wrong with Australis. They're, like, the best team in the world. Best CSGO team at majors, that is. So whenever there's a major that Australis is in, there's always going to be hype and demand for their stickers. Navi is another team that you guys can definitely go with they've been to every CSGO major up until this point so uh, yeah make sure you guys take a look at their stickers there's always hype around them of course you guys can take a look at NIP which uh, the current state is very questionable very suspicious if you will if you guys still haven't checked out my recent video regarding NIP and FaZe Clan stickers that I think you guys should definitely be investing in right now uh, before the hype starts there's gonna be a card at the top right of the screen that you guys can click of course after you guys are done watching this video all right so now we're gonna be shifting our attention to the Berlin 2019 sticker capsules you guys can take a look at the capsules by clicking on the capsule icon at the top of your screen you guys have six capsules to choose from three of them are team hollow and foil capsules going for a dollar and 49 cents each and then at the very bottom you have your uh, autograph capsules which cost only 25 cents each all right so I obviously don't know how much money you guys have on you how much money you're willing to invest in but in my personal opinion you guys should definitely at least buy four of every player autograph capsules um, I think that's a decent minimum. I think if you go any less than that, it really doesn't add any value to even consider investing. At that point, you guys might be better off investing in just a normal team sticker or hollow of your choice, which I will be discussing later on in this video. Now, the team hollows and foils are going to be more expensive. They cost $1.49 each, so um, it can get kind of pricey. But in the end, guys, after you guys invest in a couple months, these stickers are going to go up in value. So the capsules are probably going to go up to at least $3. So you guys 
guys are definitely going to be able to get your money back and it's not going to go any lower so it's only going up from here you guys are just gonna have to wait and i mean it's all about patience it's a waiting game while i cannot tell you which sticker capsules kind of perform better than the others you guys can obviously take a look at previous majors of course that might not be very accurate because every major has different set of teams different set of stickers so um obviously it's not going to be identical for example guys we have the katavice 2019 legends hollow and foil sticker capsule going for around three dollars and 24 cents currently it was as high as six dollars right before the berlin major so make sure you guys sell your berlin major stickers a couple weeks before the next major the katavice 2019 minor challenger sticker capsule is going currently for seven dollars and of course we know why it has the furia hollow and then of course the katavice 2019 returning challenger sticker capsule is currently going for five dollars so you guys could definitely use this data when making your own purchases for this major however i think a better strategy is to just go to the steam community market under csgo and take a look at what is currently trending what's currently selling generally go with the sticker capsule that is trending and doesn't have too much quantity you guys already know the spiel high demand low supply blah 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 but of course i think it works really well here and uh, you guys should definitely use this strategy i know i've done it in the past before and i've made some pretty good profit so make sure you guys follow that strategy if you're unsure about which sticker capsule to choose from which sticker capsule to invest more in the market will guide you to the right answer however if you guys are still unsure just buy an equal number of every sticker capsule and you'll be good to go so for example you guys can buy three of each capsule and you guys can't really go wrong there actually kind of interesting the furia hollow berlin 2019 sticker is doing pretty well it's actually trending more than the astralis hollow sticker so um that speaks a lot so yeah now that i'm looking at it maybe it's not a bad idea to go with the uh, minor challengers uh for the uh team hollow and foil stickers hmm. however the returning challengers hollow and foil has a lower quantity um on the market currently and they also contain hellraiser stickers which um like i said before they might go extinct depending on what the organization does so um yeah might be the last tournament we see hellraisers so um yeah maybe consider going for returning challengers it's a tough one guys let me know what you guys are going with in the comments the last investment strategy i have for you guys is to pick a csgo team and invest only in that team or one of its players so for example as i've been mentioning before hellraisers is a team that might not be showing up in future majors so maybe consider going after some of their hollows or foils also don't be afraid of looking back at their old tournament stickers they are just as good as the new ones the new ones might be cheaper though so keep that in mind as well but yeah hellraisers hollows and foils old ones are probably going to be good investment options in the near future so keep an eye out for deals another interesting sticker investment is alexi b's new berlin 2019 sticker as you guys may already know alexi b is leaving ends um, and he's probably gonna be joining another team in the future so um his end stickers are probably gonna go up in value as the months to years go by so maybe consider taking a look at uh, some of his foils you know from previous majors as well as this major and um yeah even consider the gold one i think the gold alexi b stickers have the most potential of just skyrocketing up in the near future so if you guys have the money around 16 dollars or so currently yeah just uh go for it you know you never know maybe consider only investing in alexi b stickers you know it's a risk for sure guys i mean the safest thing to do is buy like the capsules obviously because no matter what they're going up but of course guys the biggest risk of all is not taking any risk so keep that in mind the last sticker that i have for you guys is going to be cold zero's player autograph sticker from the berlin 2019 sticker yes guys if you didn't already know cold zero actually does have a tournament player autograph sticker from the berlin major even though he did not play for the mibr how wild is that i'm pretty sure not that many people know of this and uh you know this is a great opportunity to uh, invest in his sticker because this is a sticker that uh, should not have really existed but valve let it slide so um yeah it's a pretty cool sticker it's a very interesting memento of the tournament take a look at his foil maybe even his gold sticker it's not going for too much currently cold zero is very likely to join another team in the near future so you're going to be seeing new player autograph stickers but under a different team i honestly think this is one of the best opportunities for individual investments so if you guys have a ton of money they're willing to invest in consider only buying cold zero foils or gold stickers um and you might see a lot of profit in the near future in the end guys whatever approach you guys end up taking it'll probably yield you guys profit the point is you guys should definitely try and look at different opportunities evaluate them and make your own decisions for your investments let me know in the comment section below what you guys are going to end up investing in if you still don't know and you want some uh, clarification or any additional questions let me know as well like comment and subscribe as always so until next time this is fano signing out